Hi guys, welcome to another new video in another new series by me, uh, Charlie, obviously, by my voice, hopefully you can recognise that, but it's only really been one video, so I don't know if you'll be able to. Um, yeah, this is my Ultimate Team series, the first episode. As you can see there, I have a Liga BBVA team. This is actually the first game I've ever played with the team, as is coming up now. Um, yeah, I just checked some sales there, so just really ignore this bit. <coughs> sort of gonna fast forward here so you don't have to see all this rubbish as you can see I have 18k just sold a previous team I had a Brazilian team before this so yeah I made a couple of profits on some of the players I had in that team so yeah so yeah we're going to a first game here um, don't know who we're gonna come up against yeah as you can see zero points division 2 I'm starting in division 2 because I've just got relegated from division 1 uh, because me and my friend Sam did a, a, a like a challenge thing with a bronze team, it didn't really go very well. So we come up against. I didn't see his gamer tag there. He's well, I know his team's called Nod. That's all I know at the minute. Shax Dons. He's got a Premier League team, quite good. Uh, Nani Torres. Neuer in goal. Don't really know why, seeing as he's got Ferdinand and Terry as other defenders, but. He's, Neuer is a very good goalkeeper, so I think it'll be hard to it's hard to get past him in this game. <coughs> so yeah, this is going to be my first episode in this series. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope there'll be lots more of these coming up soon. Yeah, and um, this two new team was I really enjoyed playing with them for the first time, especially Modric there. I thought he wasn't going to be as good as he actually was in the end. He's, he actually has quite a bit of muscle in his head and is also really good as well. For someone who's that small and looks that weak. But unfortunately we conceded pretty much straight away to Luis Suarez in the third minute. I, I don't really know what happened there. My defenders just didn't really want to head the ball away. And yeah, they're not that great. i got Pepe and Mascarano and of course Mascarano is tiny. And that, that was him trying to defend that and he just tried to kick the guy instead of trying to actually stop him heading it in the goal. Um, sorry about that, had a bit of a burp moment or whatever I'd like to say and again he came in with Fernando Torres, a lethal strike there and went out for a corner ball. I couldn't really defend against this guy, he was just all over me at the start of this match, I don't really know what was happening and uh, Ferdinand whips that in again, once, once again Mascarano with the weak head in, couldn't really do anything about it, he just tries to kick them in the legs as they had the ball. For some reason he ran all the way down the pitch doing a arm swagger wave thingy. Look at that, Mascarano didn't even try and head the ball. I might have to replace him with uh, Pepe. I mean, um, PK or Poyal maybe in the future because he's just not doing it for me at the minute. Benzema's in. Great to look, a bit of luck off the player there, but great finish. Top corner, that's why I bought him. That's why I spent the 25k, I think it was, something like that. On that man because he's finishing it's just so lethal once he gets the opportunity he just gets bang there we go top corner no chance for the goalkeeper thank you very much and we were 2-1 down 28 minutes gone it was an action-packed first half of the match this was in this game I was um, pretty tense playing for the first time we went in half time 2-1 down to Shaxton's I was pretty happy with the striking force of this team in the first half of my first ever game, but I was pretty disappointed with the defence, not going to lie, um, Mascarano wasn't really doing it for me. Uh, yeah, so we came back out in the second half, and um, pretty much going the same as last time really, I wasn't feeling it that much with the new defence in this team. Look at that, shocking, I thought there'd be someone on the wing, I didn't realise I was controlling David Fear. I thought it was... Um, I thought it was Jordi Alba, so I went down the wing, but there wasn't anybody there, so I gave the ball away and tried to jockey his defence, and I don't really know why Mascarano's running away from the ball. So that's three mistakes by Mascarano and three goals to him, so yeah, you can see who's the weakest point in my team at the minute. Um, yeah, he did his more just wave arming. Arm waving, wave arming, wave arming? What the heck? Oh well, <laughs> uh, going pretty crazy in this video for some reason. Not a great ball, and look at this, great turn, bang, finished. Modric, fantastic goal. I love the first touch on that. Goal left the goalkeeper, no chance. Perfect first touch. And then the finish was simple. Look at that. Beautiful. And then, yeah, so um, 
full time came, I lost the first game, I wasn't happy with that really. I wanted to get this series off to a good start but unfortunately we couldn't bring it back to 3 all, or even get the win. 410 coins, that's decent but yeah 9 games left, 0 points. <coughs> um, yeah, so going into the next game, we um, Song need a contract there as you can see. So I couldn't be bothered to go and get any uh, gold contracts so I decided to just stick one of these bronze game ones for three games because yeah I had loads from opening random bronze packs for some reason see if I could make a bit of profit on them because they're only like 400 coins or 750 depending on which one you want to buy of course premium you've got a lot more chance and of course if you get an inform in one of them you're going to get yourself like 20 something k so you're going to make a big profit of 400 coins this guy had uh, another Premier League team of Pretty sweaty attack with Kone and Hernandez. Um, Santi Gazzola is a decent player. Milner is cheap and decent. Vermaelen, I know he's a decent player too because I've had him in the past. So yeah, I thought I could pretty much win this game quite easily with my team compared to his. Uh, it was a lot better than the last person I faced, and I only just lost to him. So yeah, it should be it should have been a comfortable win. But as you'll see later in this video, it became a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, early on in the game, Modric was away, flukely went through, and look at that. Oh, beautiful that was, Benzema. I just thought I'd go for the cheeky chip, 16th minute. A great finish from Benzema there, a bit of luck off, bouncing off the defender straight to him. But yeah, so um, we came to the next bit of the video, and cheeky chip, we tried it, and I just intercepted the ball. Nice passing, and the Benzema is in, and he's not going to miss from there, come on. I bought him 25k. And I bought it for finishing like that and I was well happy with that. A great finish and yeah, so we went 2 it up very early on in the game, only 25 minutes gone. The game was pretty much panning out how I was expecting it to at the start. Me winning clearly and hopefully for like a rage quit so I didn't have to waste too much fitness over the game. So um, unfortunately that didn't come as you're about to see as he stormed back with a sweaty goal as you can expect with having Hernandez and Kone up front he's going to be scoring lots of sweats bit of a dodgy celebration but yeah I was pretty mad then that he'd scored a sway goal but I knew I still had the lead so I could go out and carry on trying to extend my lead but then he passed it across again and no one's going to miss from there to be honest unless you're a bronze player so Sessegnon who's actually a really good player but really cheap as well finished that one off nicely for him. So we were 2-2, I was still pretty uh, happy with my playing at the minute but yeah, what a surprise, another sweaty goal from Kone and this guy was just going all out sweatness against me, he couldn't, like, he's putting his wristbands on, his headbands on, everything, he must have been like bucket next to him with all the sweat coming off him, it was crazy, I was getting so like mad at this guy. <laughs> So all he was doing was scoring sweaty goals and then that finish there from Fernandez just put the nail in the coffin for me really. I was so angry that I'd thrown away my 2-0 lead to draw to be 4-2 behind after 59 minutes. I was so mad. Unfor um, fortunately, a bit of shocking defending there didn't lead to any chances for him. Although, yeah, he gave me the ball back and I was quick play to try and get back up the pitch. Here, yeah, ready? Look at this, quick play. Sees the ball, plays actually the wrong pass, and I was, I was so mad that he played the wrong pass. But then he tried to add it back to his goalkeeper, and yeah, David Villa was in straight away to finish that one off for me nicely. I was well happy that I was actually, well, I wasn't actually back in the game yet, but I knew that I could get the result back and hopefully get the win that I deserved after the first half. But it wasn't looking that way in the 84th minute, and everything was going. I was I was attacking constantly, trying to get back in the trying to get my goal back to get the draw because I definitely deserved something out of the game. Look, he's heading it away, he's scrambling around in the box. Everything was going crazy. I thought he was going to um, get a counter attack on there, but fortunately um, he got the block in my defence did. And look at this passing, great through. I thought, oh yes, surely a goal. He missed, but then Fabregas out of nowhere manages to slide it under the goalkeeper. 88th minute, the relief on my face when that goal went in was so immense. I was so happy when that goal went in that I'd actually got something from the game after having such a shocking moment. And he could have scored here in the last couple of minutes but fortunately I managed to get it out and um, yeah, it ends 
4-4, what a game that was, C crazy things happening all over the place. I, def I think I deserved the win after that first half, the second half was absolutely shocking. Hopefully next games I will be able to perform much better than that and actually get some wins. Um, so yeah, there will be more of these videos coming up, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my ultimate team road to whatever I'm going to call it, so yeah, bye guys.